is Atari getting golden hour lighting right now? That, <laughs> am I crazy or is that just me? I don't know. I'm feeling like the lighting is hitting golden hour, golden hour for my guy. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. It's hidden. It's hidden at the right time. I What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Damn Show. We got episode 22 on lock here for you today. I'm with Atare and maybe Netta. Uh, we're talking all things Art Basel and Miami. If you don't know, it's going down in South Beach this week. Atare, what's going on? How's your day going, friend? Day is fantastic. It's going down. I'm flying out in under 24 hours. I will be joining maybe Netta. Uh, who's already in Miami right now. And Damien, you're going to be joining us shortly after. And I think the first event, and I may have to rush straight from the airport with all my bags to this event, is the first Art Basel Grunch. Maybe tell us more about that. What's going on? How's how's the weather in Miami? It's so hot in Miami. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's hot. <laughs> like, I don't, I brought two jackets. I haven't seen <laughs> Yet. I'm like, uh, why did I even bring this? Yeah, it's so hot. And coming from New York City, uh, it's a big difference. And I kind of love it. I'm ready for it. I feel like when it's hot, when it's warm, when you have your friends, it feels like, you know, summer. I don't know. It's just all the things that I, uh, I love. Uh, so I think we're really going to have fun this week. And I can't wait for you guys to get here because I feel a little bit alone right now so uh it's time for the dam to you know uh, meet again and you know just have fun together <laughs> and uh, i might add meet again for the first time since we started this show or since we had the idea of it because the last time that we were together the three of us was that night in brooklyn in new tokyo new brooklyn new tokyo <laughs> new tokyo brooklyn so uh and we have we've actually been remote um, since the first episode. So this is actually the first time since we started the day, I'm sure that we're all going to be in the same place. I, of course, was in New York for that event at the end of September um, for the for the one-year anniversary of 10KTF. So I'm excited to get Diamond and maybe an Atari to speak of myself in third person <laughs> into the in the same geographical location. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. There's so much we're, we're going to do and um, have fun with. Uh, obviously, the first thing is going to be the grunge. So, Diamond, tell us. I know you are you have a bit of a red eye, but are you making it for the grunge? What's going on? I mean, I'm smashing, right? I fly into Fort Lauderdale. I've landed 1130. Uh, I mean, I know I know Grail doesn't fuck around, right? So I'm just trying to find, find out, you know? Uh, I know the party will still be happening. I know the juice will still be flowing. Hopefully, the drinks are still pouring. And when I roll up, I'll be ready to party. But kind of like you, like you're saying... I don't doubt I'll be sprinting through the airport trying to find a taxi out front, I, maybe an Uber. I don't even know how this shit works, if I'm being honest. I don't travel like that. But I'm running at 110% full speed to get to Miami, uh, South Beach, meeting up with the Grunch, with the Grailed, and going to have a festive time. Uh, and, and in that same note, y'all, if you don't know, we're huggers, right? Like, I need a group hug again, y'all. And I need, hey, Atari. This, this chick's been missing some of them kisses for a little while, my guy. You know? Come on, bring a few of those kisses back. You know, I'm bringing right back to you, too, man. We're going to rock this thing. Let's go, baby. So funny. Uh, so, okay, let's let's go through the agenda of this week. What do we yeah. got going on? Uh, okay, so we got the grunge, obviously, but let's, let's keep Tuesday, going. Tuesday grunge in the morning. Grunge, which means grilled brunch for everybody, that all the people that don't know about it. Uh, then in the evening, we have the Renga event. You know, we have one of the most significant members of Grail uh, being one of the founders of, of, of Renga. We'll talk about Tails. Hello, Tails. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to get, you know, to the Renga event, have fun there. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. I'll be tearing it up at the Ranga event. Went to the last one in New York City. Uh, fire eats, good drinks. Uh, and looking forward to this one as well. Rolling post-grunch to Ranga. And then I hear there's like a, an, a possibly another event after that. Sounds like an incredibly long Tuesday. So I'm going to be drinking. I, I'm going to start hitting the water right now to get ready for the yeah. free game. You know, uh, but I'm ready to party. I'm ready to rock and tear it up with my fam. 
Yeah, I'm excited for the Renga event. Uh, I know that. I don't know if anything's happening on Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday is like a nice beach day for the dam and anybody else that wants to join. I don't know yet. Um, and then, uh, and then what else do we have coming up? Uh, I know, I know there's a goblin event that's all competing with the board ape event now on Saturday, but we'll save that for, for a little bit down the road, but what's in between that. The, the dead fellas event that follows Renga, right? That's going from 11 a 11 PM to 4 AM. They're running a late night for dead fellas. And I hear there's something in the streets, some whisper going around that there could be some ice skating going on. I don't know. I'm, I'm from, I'm a California boy. We don't do a lot of ice skating out here. I know as a Canadian, I'm sure you're well familiar with a nice pair of skates. It's all right. Oh, fuck uh, yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Netta, have you ever worn a pair of ice skates? Rockefeller Center, have you went out ice skating yet? Or is this, I mean, would that be a first time experience if you were to attend? I did it many times, but never in New York because uh, Martin doesn't like to do it. So um, I've been doing it like with my friends back at home. We have a a uh, place where we go ice skating um and i'm pretty good on rollerblades so um it it's it's easy for me to do ice skating because i i got the moves you know from rollerblading <laughs> for for sorry from um uh, with rollerblades so yeah that's the thing um but yeah i would try like i'm i'm okay i can do it i know i know how to do it so no problem at all you will not have to pick me up from the floor but maybe you will depending on how many drinks i had <laughs> when oh, uh diamond good. when is that event tuesday night right okay. after the Ranga event yeah uh I was, I was i was already talking to tails uh, uh hopefully she's down to roll over there too we can roll as a group right from the Ranga event always. go see what's happening with betty always. and dead fellas right that 10k tf connection that's always going down uh would be super hype you know how the grail rolls it's always packed up so uh Dead fellas, I will just let you know, right? We'll be rolling in probably fashionably late, but when the party shows up, we're gonna get things jumping. That's for damn sure. That's for damn yeah. freaking sure. I'm I'm excited for that because I get a chance to show my Canadian uh, chops. Okay, I get to skate a little bit. I don't know what that skating is gonna look like, but um, give me some skates, give me a hockey stick, and I feel right at home. And I'm not gonna lie, look, I've been. Um, no winters where I'm at in my undisclosed location. No winters in Miami either. And so I've been missing winter. I haven't felt snow for the first time in a very, very long time. So if you get some ice skating in, and if it is ice skating, then I am going to, I'm going to feel right at home. I'm going to get like a little hot chocolate. We're going to, it's going to, maybe there's some Christmas lights. It'll be romantic. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The Christmas spirit is upon us because it'll be December 1st. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, December. Oh, my God. Like, with the weather that we have here, it's so crazy to think that it's almost December. I was talking about it yesterday. I was like, I feel like it's August 15th, not December. Like, what is this craziness? So, yeah, so we got Tuesday. That was, that's Tuesday. It's already full of things to do. I don't know. I recommend Diamond to get a nice nap in the afternoon after... <laughs> after the grunge so that you can have enough energy for the night since you're traveling Atari as well I don't know that's just my recommendation I always do that when I when I have parties in the night a little nap just you know we're not 20 we're not 20 anymore let's just <laughs> remember everyone and then on on Wednesday I have no idea what's going down to be honest but I know that there is the a big area in um in Miami not Miami Beach uh, in Miami, I think around Wynwood, um, which is the get the called the getaway, which is like a, a Web three metropolis. Um, we all got the uh, the tickets; they were uh, free to claim. Uh, so there's gonna be things going on every day, and uh, I think that the days that we don't have other plans, we can just uh, go check check out what's what's happening there. Uh, and uh, yeah, just just see what's what's going on, right? Yeah, yeah. And speaking of Winwood, there's also on December second and third, Doodles has that putt putt that they're doing, the Doodle putt, and that I know that's going down in Winwood as well. Uh, I, we had the community legend. I mean, 
Van Buren is throwing down with doodles right now, like setting all this up, right? He's part of this process. And so uh, I don't know what that looks like. Hopefully it's not just doodle holders that get to participate. Hopefully I can get in there and degen it up with some of my uh, 10 KTF tokens instead, fingers crossed, who knows? But um, yeah, I just, I'm really excited to see what that looks like. I know they've been working really hard to create an incredible immersive experience for their holders and the NFT community at large. So really hyped. Hopefully I can go check that out for a little bit too. Yeah, you said that's on the second and third. So that's Friday, Saturday. I feel like that's going to be a good Friday afternoon. We can s- s- roll on by and, um, and, and do some mini putting while we're all nursing some uh, headaches for you know no reason we're not going to be uh partying late night with a little bit of drinks sometimes like maybe said we're not 20 anymore so we might <laughs> yeah. need to uh pace ourselves because okay okay speaking of which actually guys nft nyc well that was great that was so unsustainable i was out for the full week after in bed in pain <laughs> I have never. Oh my god! My feet hurt. My back hurt. My mind hurt. I I was getting up late every day for a full week straight recovering. That was crazy. I loved it, but I was also like, my god, like, wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm keeping that in mind for this one. Maybe naps one million percent. You're gonna see me dip in and out. I'm gonna be like, peace, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do my thing over here. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to chill out and pace myself because I, I want to have the most energy for Saturday. I'm most excited about Saturday for the board ape event because Denzel freaking Curry is going to be there. I'm pumped. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm so pumped. Uh, I love him. And we don't know the venue for board ape. We don't know. I know I'm jumping ahead, but I, I'm just so excited about, yeah. about the board ape event. We have other acts there. We're going to get a chance to meet the founders. Uh, Figgy is going to be there. We're going to get a chance to speak with Figgy, the <clears throat> the chief content officer at Yuga Labs, the one and only. So oh, let's yeah. go. So I'm 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 I think I feel like that's going to be the pinnacle event for me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but most looking forward to that. I was saying, uh, yeah, like the events I'm uh, I'm most uh, excited about um, are the ones where uh, the most uh, 10KTF uh, community members are going to be at. And, you know, uh, the one that people are actually uh, traveling the most for is the WoW Gala. So uh, we are all going to be there and we're going to meet so many of our friends uh, they are traveling uh, specifically for that. And for this reason, uh, since they're traveling on Thursday, uh, we're going to have a second grunge on Friday. Uh, so the, the day after, because there's so many of them are going to be there since they're flying for the gala and they fly out in, maybe on, uh, on some on Friday, some on Saturday. So not everyone is going to be at the Board Ape event, but so many people are going to be at the WOW event since uh, it was uh you know it was easier to access it with the with with the wow g's um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna meet all of our friends there and then the day after we are organizing um uh get together which is gonna be at collins park and uh the the part that i like the most about the second get together is that it's gonna be in an open place open space uh, we don't have to have a reservation. We, we don't have to have any problems with numbers, how many people we invite. So everyone can just come and join the group, bring your food, bring your drinks. No, wait, I don't know if it's uh, legal to do these things there. We will ch- double check first what we can actually bring and we will let you know uh, if there are any, <laughs> any problems or anything that we cannot do. But wh- everything we can do, we will do, definitely. <laughs> So, yeah, if you cannot be there on Tuesday morning, tomorrow morning, don't worry, Grail fam. We, we have a second get together on Friday morning. So join that one. No, I was just saying, I mean, I'm really looking forward to those naps on the beach. Find me with a Corona in my hand and, and half, a, half a roasted joint in the other, man. Just passed out, just sitting there hanging out. You know, that's Miami life, right? Is that South Beach life? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm asking for a friend. That's all. <laughs> You're going to find out, Diamond. You're going to find out. It's <laughs> very soon, very soon. Uh, I know we're all going to look fantastic. Uh, we're going to look dapper. We're going to look elegant. 
for the gala. Maybe obviously you are up in contention for a big <laughs> award, the Community Builder Award. If you ask me, and I'm not biased whatsoever, you deserve it 1 million percent for all that you do for all the communities that you're a part of, whether it's 10K TF, whether it's World of Women. It's no contest, no question on my end. And you know that if we win and when any 10K TF family wins, we're going to be the embarrassing siblings. We're going to be oh hollering God. and yelling and we're going to be cheering for you guys. <laughs> That's my co host. <laughs> You guys are crazy. No, like, again, thank you so much. You've been such a big, uh, you know, big supporters, like, since the beginning, but in this period, even even more than uh, uh, than usual. And not only you, all the 10KTF fam has been incredible. Uh, I know that so many of them just went to the wow um uh, to the wow page just to vote for me i know guys that you did that i know it and i am so grateful i don't even know how to thank you for it because like i tried not to ask for votes but thank you like it's it just i don't know thank you thank you for just doing it out of your heart out, out of uh, you know um gratitude or whatever that was but i I'm I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. No, Netta, you, you've been showing up for community so consistently for so long. Like you don't you don't have to ask for the votes. That's when people just vote for you because they see you, right? Um, you show up for the people. Always have New Tokyo News, the damn show, right? Uh, what you do for Wow and community events over there, the way that you schedule, the way the way that you like, I, it, it's so impressive and. and you, it's the ethos of what community and community building should be showing up to have fun with your friends at the end of the day. That's really what it's all about. And that's how we find success through this. I couldn't be more proud to watch you go up on that stage and, and bring that trophy home. I've got my fingers crossed and I'm going to hey, know that I'm going to be out of my chair. I'm be dancing in the fucking aisle way. People better watch out. Uh, clear your elbows out. If you're next to me, when Netta gets announced as the winner of community builder. All right. I, there's going to be a whole <laughs> damn thing going on. Guys. I look, I don't know what the, if there's going to be seating, I don't know like wh how it's going to be like, but you know that there's going to be at least like 10 to 15, 10 KTF grilled deep at this at this so we're gonna roll up in a squad it's gonna be iconic and we 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 throw out we 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 shout out we we do a big for the grilled fam uh, i don't think there's a bond like it and and no community can compete with it so shout out to fake eye shout out to maggie shout out to maybe shout out to uh am i forgetting anybody i feel like there's a couple more no, people or is that is that is that the what's that nudes um who else? Who else? Who else? Mitoshi. Ah, Mitoshi, guys. Uh, Nudes and Mitoshi as well. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be go like we're we're yeah. we're pumped for you guys. <laughs> and despite any you know whatever's happened has happened, and I think that um, we're excited. We're 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 here, and we're gonna be really pumped for everybody. Um, throughout all of it Th this will all make sense in the future but you guys will get yeah. you guys will get what i mean <laughs> exactly and then we have saturday right what's going down on saturday saturday look i'm just gonna put it out there saturday i would like uh we have to record a damn show so we're gonna be recording a damn show for the very first time in the same room for the very first yeah. time let's go are we going to have special guests? We're going to fucking you try. Bet your ass. You bet your ass we're going to have some special <laughs> guests. You bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, for okay. sure. Here's, here's, and here's my, here's, my, um, here's my pitch to the 10KTF community. Because I think that... I think this would be iconic. Are you guys ready? So, to all the 10KTF grilled <laughs> that is out in Miami this week... What we want to do is we want to get every single grailed that's there, get him in the same damn room, get him on the same damn couch, and we want to record a giant podcast with everybody. We're going to find the biggest couch in South Beach. We're going to get all the mics, and we want to have everybody up and just 
rocking out, jamming out with the damn show. So that's my pitch for you guys. If you guys are excited about that, if that interests you, then find me, find maybe, find Diamond and say, yo, I'm in. Tell me when and where I want to be a part of this group podcast. I don't think that's been done. It's going to be a community first. If you want to dox, you can dox. Come on down. <laughs> You're the next. <laughs> Wait, no, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> We're going to do like a, a new Tokyo News meets the damn show. And uh, uh, it's going to be like all the community instead of a Twitter space. It's going to be a podcast, a stream or whatever. We see what we do. We can even do a live stream. We see. Or your we can even do a live stream. Speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of which, we need to do a live stream on Thursday. Yeah. So we got to hammer that up because it's every damn Monday and every damn Thursday. So uh, I don't that's know what that's going to look like, but that's happening. Th- that's happening. Still- that's happening. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And Netta wins the fucking community builder award. Like the most significant thing in all that is the community that's going to support her when she wins, right? Like, like we're going to go fucking crazy in the back row for you. Uh, and, and it's it's out of reciprocity at the end of the day. It's, it's the work that you've, <laughs> I'm you know, gonna just run away. That you've shown up so selflessly. Hey, we're going to be hyped to jump up out of our chair. Let's fucking go! And I, it literally will be like that. And I'm not fucking around. Uh, you know, when, when, when I can celebrate in the same way that you're winning that award, uh, and know that all my community is doing the same. That's really what community building at its ethos, at its core, is all about. Um, can't say thank you enough for everything that you've done for our 10K TF and WoW communities. Thank and the you. NFT community as a whole. Um, <laughs> truly. I stop it. Thank you, all of you. Each one of us has done their part. So, yeah, I just happen to be nominated in this because um, I'm very involved in the WoW community. But guys, you know, we did the Wagmis and uh, um, like you got your nominations as well. <laughs> but when, if, if one day we will have an official um, award from 10KTF, you guys deserve it 100%. So that's just, <laughs> it's just your, uh, but we got it already. Yeah, this is our award. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm going to need one of those maybe Netta. I need a, I'm going to need a, a maybe Netta for the WoW Gala. For the gala. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need, I, well, I need oh, one of those. Oh, we got to bring those. Sure. Yeah. Oh, we're bringing sure. them. We're going to look. We're going to be chanting like when the nominees are playing, we'll be like, maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe. And then we're going to erupt and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Can and, and. In the event maybe doesn't win, can we riot Atari? Is that okay? Can we riot? <laughs> we can riot. Happened? We are definitely gonna riot. We are rioting. We got That's Tails. So Tails. Weekend. Tails is gonna be there, and so you know Tails likes her penguin riots, and so we. <laughs> she's gonna be leading all this. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> and I. We gotta have um, fun. Whatever happens, happens. We're gonna have fun. Whoever wins deserves it because I know it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. That's the most important thing. And I just want to add it again and say it again. Community is the reason why I'm here. It is the reason why I'm here. So not here in Miami, here in the NFT space, like from the beginning. It's the thing that made me stay after I I bought the first NFTs. So mm-hmm. for me, it's just super important. Um, the way that like I interact with other people in the community, the way that we stand for each other, the way that we uh, create deeper relationships, like the ones that we, the three of us have right now after we, we started the show and everything. So those are special things. We talk a lot about utility in NFTs. Uh, for me, the best utility that I got from the NFT space, not specific NFTs, not not talking specifically of uh, this or that, but in general, the people that I met are my utility. So um, I'm so happy that you guys are coming and then so many others are coming. And then I meet Swilson and Tails this evening to a restaurant, an easy restaurant, just to talk, like just to stay there until they throw us out of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> How late does Domino's in South Beach stay open? Stop it. Domino's Pizza. 
no. You eat some pineapple? You excited about some pineapple? Domino's pineapple? Huh? Guys, don't do that to no. me. I know. No, why you said it? No, you're you're giving terrible ideas to too many people right now. And I'm scared. Leave me yeah, alone. So to deliver oh my God, guys. <laughs> Don't make me do that. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be crazy. Um, Tails, we already know Tails has uh, has infinity. Uh, I don't know if Hawk is gonna be there. I haven't heard anything, but it'd be great to see if Hawk is gonna be down there as well, rolling with the Renga crew. Uh, I know that him and Ta- or him and uh, Tails love the Domino's pineapple pizza vibe. So. Uh, Watch out, maybe. Like, you might be getting some deliveries. Don't give out your apartment info wherever you're staying uh, to, like, to any of the Grail because they're going to they're gonna be sending some deliveries their way and you may not like what you get. <laughs> I know. I, like, the, the, the funniest part of all of this is that it could really happen, like, 100%. Like, this is, seems like a joke. But when, <laughs> if you know the people we're talking about, these things are just happening so yeah whatever we see how it goes okay anything let's say that this week anything can happen so if you're coming to miami watch out if you're not coming watch our live stream and our next episode because we're gonna try to give you as much information about what happened here (laughs) and about what's happening (laughs) let's keep people updated Especially the the folks that are not going to be able to travel. Yeah, I think it's a good way to look at look at what the dam can provide for everybody back at home, whether you're in Tank ATF, Yuga, uh, Board Ape, or whatever any other community. Like we're gonna we're gonna try to bring you some of the Art Basel magic uh, at home, right from South Beach. We might even have to fire up a couple of Twitter lives from fucking the dam account once or twice just to let people have a little view. Just we might start opening up the lot. We never done live before on Twitter, right? But I think this is a great opportunity for us to maybe just open it up real quick on the fly, quick little views of content, and then shut that baby down. I don't know how live works, but it feels right. It feels right. I feel like I feel like we could get some pretty cool um, live content going with the damn show account. So we'll, let, let's keep that in mind. It's the three of us are going to be together, and so uh, I think that if people are a fan of the show when we're apart, then I think. They're going to feel the magic and chemistry even more when we're together. So that's what I'm looking forward to most, guys. So one last thing I want to talk about is that this is actually going to be the first Yuga event that Tank ATF is a part of. And I know that only happened a, a week or so, two weeks ago. But if the first March event was any hint of uh, how Tank ATF likes to think about IRL events, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of Easter eggs for the Tank ATF community at this Yuga event, whether it's like an updated map like it was at the first event in March or um, any any sort of just little magic Easter eggs because we saw the Coda bottle at the Brooklyn event as well. So they've, they sprinkle these around everywhere. I'm, and Diamond, I know you want to talk about the next March event for 10 KTF, but uh, what are your guys' thoughts on potential Easter eggs, especially with Figgy being there? You think he's coming in with like a crate with special <laughs> items that he's going to plant around uh, that that venue wherever the board event happens? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, Figgy running around with a sack like of 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 Easter eggs, right? Like he's like he's the new uh, the new Santa Claus for Yuga Labs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Put the man in a hat and let him have some fun, you know? Uh, but I, I do not doubt, just like you're saying, seeing the map be involved. You know, we saw like Netta went and took a picture immediately posted and grailed of uh, what is it? The swamp. When the swamp was entered into new Tokyo's map, we were on it immediately. And then you fold the Coda bottle in. So those dual immersive experiences that have already been had that already kind of led to the possibility of a Yuga collab in the future. I think, yeah, working that in retrospect, maybe Figgy, maybe, I, I don't doubt it's not an accident. He's showing up to drop a few things off here and there. And now that Yuga is part of the larger, uh, 10 KTS part of the larger Yuga ecosystem, I'm very excited to see the way that they continue to add speculative pieces, kind of like that box that we saw about Jimmy's trial the other day. I really think that uh, Board Ape Yacht Club is going to continue to build bridges 
to do speculative work. I think this is going to be a new, uh, the new meta for the way that we're going to work in NFTs for a little while. We saw the old uh, roadmap system, and now it seems like a lot of projects are working the speculative new meta that we'll be seeing go forth. And so, um, yeah, for me, I don't know. I'm super hyped to see what goes down in LA, like you were saying, Atari, in March, NFT LA. We know we knew and Possible are both based in LA. And the team prepared months in advance to get things ready for New York, where we saw, I mean, press sign, uh, individual community members, all like their names put all over the place. The alpha that was dropped there, the wool, right? Like there's still a woolish theory out there, I know too, right? Um, and so these multiple layers of, of uh, Easter eggs that get worked into the lore. Um, I, I'm sure it, when we hit uh, when we hit LA, things are going to pop the fuck off. Like I've I've never been more excited about going to any event than like headed to LA. We knew Possible's hometown. Uh, they're not fucking around. We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. I think that it doesn't make any sense for Yuga to buy Winnie and KTF and don't use that magic don't you know create that speculation it's like you buy the best blender on the market and you never make a smoothie like no you're gonna make smoothie why are you even buying the blender in the first place right so yeah. i'm expecting easter eggs i'm expecting you know to see weird stuff going on i'm expecting um you know uh, scenic situations like what happened with the um with when moon truck that they open the truck and these people jump out of it, like in a, a certain point of the event, you know, all these things that 10 KTF was able to create, uh, and that we haven't seen in any other event, uh, at this point, beside the wizards. Okay. Let's say the wizards, uh, the moment when they came down the stairs, all dressed up with those donuts. That was also a very memorable moment, but I mean, they're also good storytellers. Uh, but I mean, like 10 KTF, that's what they do best in uh, events, uh, uh, especially. So I'm expecting them to bring this the same magic and the, the knowledge they have uh, into Yuga and Board Apes events as well. Because let's remember that Figi now is chief content uh, content officer at Yuga Labs. So it's not taking care of 10 KTF only anymore. It's like the whole company. So we'll definitely give his expertise and direction to all the other events and projects. So yeah, I can't wait for that to, to see what's, what's the, the work that they're going to put out and what are the, um, the consequences of him being there, because I know that it's, it's going to be great. Is Atari getting golden hour lighting right now? Or is that just, <laughs> am I crazy or is that just me? I don't know. I'm feeling like the lighting is hitting golden hour, golden hour for my guy. <laughs> I don't know. Just throwing it out there. It's hidden. It's hidden at the right time. I think um, it's a shame that we have to. We're gonna start winding it down, but uh, with the lighting, this nice. But um, guys, well, don't, don't don't wind it down just yet. Hang on. Because hang on. One just a little bit. Speculative piece. Just, Talk just to give, me. give me a little bit more of this Talk golden light. Don't leave me yet, sweet <laughs> Do not leave me yet. Okay. Uh, Y'all. Last week, uh, token. <laughs> Token Proof announced that they're accepting Delegate.cash and Warm Wallet now, right? As alternative methods to submit for ticketing, right? And then another funny tweet came out from Token Proof like a day or two later, right? Like, we know how deep we speculate at 10KTF. We get down with the get down, right? Like, we're always looking for alpha wherever we go. IRL events, any type of a Twitter post, any Twitter post related to any of our parent projects, we're on it like Bonnet. We don't miss, right? That being said, uh, y'all, Token Proof has something going on in Miami, they announced. They're doing a fun activity. In the next couple of days, Token Proof will be hiding a number of NFC tags in certain spots around Miami at their partner events. Hmm. What happens if you find them, right? Uh, so they partner with Round, uh, round 21, Infinite Objects, and Poop.xyz, among others, for some amazing pri prizes and currently partnering with some sponsors to give out more amazing stuff. But as you go around the event, there's going to be uh, little token proof style badges, right? And they, they've already said they've got some amazing NFTs they're giving out and additional utilities as well. Uh, when you find one of the NFC tags, you'll be able to scan that with your phone and claim a PO app 
that is in turn redeemable for prizes after Art Basel. Okay, so like keep an eye out for these little NFC tags as you're rolling around uh, NF NFT my uh, Art Basel. My bad. I was about to say NFT Miami. <laughs> this is not that. Let's be very clear. It's much bigger than that. Uh, Art Basel as you're rolling around. Keep your eye out for these little token proof little uh, NFCs. Uh, possibility to increase your utility, increase opportunities to join. Uh, some excellent communities as well. Um, and shout out to Token Proof for putting this on. I really, really appreciative to see this next level immersion start to happen at these events where we don't have to necessarily be at one event, right? As we bop around, this uh, multi-level utility uh, is pretty freaking cool. And I'm excited to see the way that builds out, maybe even into uh, NFT LA. With Figgy, wink, wink, <laughs> wink, wink. Just throwing it out there. That's all. Cool. That sounds awesome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the damn does Miami. It's official. We will see everybody Tuesday onward. We're so excited for all the events. We're excited for maybe not to take them some awards. We're excited for the 10KTFM. 10KTFM. <laughs> We're excited for the 10KTF fam to take home some awards. We're going to be at the Board Ape event. We're going to be at the Ringa event. And we're going to be doing some big group podcasts. So if you are excited for this, then make sure you like, subscribe, and find one of us and let us know you want to be a part of that giant damn podcast. That's what we're going to call it. It's the giant damn podcast. So we're going to see you there. A lot of exciting content to come. Take care, everybody, and see you in South Beach, baby. Bye.